Hello, Mary Schiller here, author and chief permission grantor from MarySchiller.com. I'm really excited to be with you to start a seven day business success challenge for people in the three principles community who work as coaches or in some way sharing the three principles with the wider world. And the reason I have called this a business success challenge, well, for a few reasons. The first is I really want your business to be successful. I want you, you to impact a lot of people. I want you to reach a lot of people with the three principles. I want your business to be successful so that you're making the kind of money that you want and need to make to have the life that you want to have. So overall, my goal as always is to see how I can support you to reach your dreams. Essentially, I want to uh, offer you some different ways of seeing your coaching practice that may give you some insights into how you can create your business more effortlessly and more with more fun and also increase your income and impact at the same time. The reason I've used the word challenge is because I'm going to challenge you. Um, I'm going to ask you some questions throughout these next seven days that may, well, they may push you back, uh, push some buttons. They may help you to kind of push past some old thinking. Uh, they may really make you stop and a look at something differently. And of course, I'm doing this with all the love I have in my heart because I really do uh, love the people in this community and I want to see you uh, succeed. So let's start with the first challenge, okay? The first challenge is this. Are you really working on a business? Or are you engaging in a hobby? So think about that for a minute. Are you really building a sustainable business related to the three principles? Or are you engaging in a hobby? Now I can tell you an experience from my own life that will illustrate the hobby bit. <laughs> So a few years ago, before I came into the whole three principles uh, conversation, I had started what I thought was a business on the side. I was working full time and I had this idea that, you know, I really wanted to go work for myself. And so one of the skills that I had was making websites and videos for people. So I could make a website really quickly and I could also create, you know, marketing videos and things like that. And so I started doing that and I really didn't like it very much because I realized that I liked doing it for myself. <laughs> I liked creating videos and I liked making my own websites, but I really didn't want to do it for other people. It was more like a hobby that I had sort of tried to shoehorn into a business and it really wasn't what I wanted to be doing for um, a business. It was something that just didn't fit at all. And I kept sort of trying to squeeze myself into it, trying and thinking, you know, maybe I can make this work, but it just didn't happen. And so if you're struggling to create a business related to the three principles, it may mean that that isn't the right business for you, that there may be other ways that you can share this understanding that don't have anything to do with creating a coaching business. And if that's the case, if that's kind of where this is landing for you, uh, as your chief permission grantor, I'm going to grant you permission to do with that what you'd like to do with that. If you want to stop trying to build a business, then stop trying to build a business. If you want to simply live your life, understanding these principles and, you know, sharing them with people as you come in contact with them, that's beautiful. If this is a business, if this really is the thing that you want to build your life upon, including the way that you make money, 
then that's beautiful too. Uh, for me, that's where I am uh, currently. And I say currently because I can't predict the future, but this has been so impactful on my life that I can't really think of anything else that I want to be doing with my time. And that includes the way that I want to uh, earn my living. So I would like to combine all of that into one, which is what I have been doing for the past year, year and a half. I have been able to combine my sharing of the principles with earning money. Now, I know that, you know, from the other groups that I'm in and conversations I hear, that sometimes people get a little buzzy thinking around that. You know, they say, these three principles are principles. <laughs> They're available to everyone. Why do people feel the need to charge for this? And the way I look at it is pretty simple. You know, if somebody had come to me at a certain point and said, hey, Mary, you know, I have the cure for your post-traumatic stress disorder and it won't require you to uh, practice or do anything. It won't require any real effort on your part at all. I'm just going to show you something that you've not seen before. And I probably would have, no joke, given them my house, my car, <laughs> my savings, everything, because I was in such a state that I really didn't feel like um, my life was ever going to be what I wanted it to be. You know, I felt like my life had sort of been taken from me um, because somebody had chosen to do harm to me. And as a result, I felt like I was stuck with this post-traumatic stress disorder and I would never be free of it. And I would never have the kind of happiness and joy and all of that that I saw other people having. So when you look at it that way, you know, there's a lot of talk in the business world about value. You know, what value are you giving to others? Well, one of the ways that we show that we value something is we pay someone for it. So if you think of all the things that people get paid to do, I certainly see nothing wrong with getting paid to help someone change their life in probably the most momentous way that they ever could. So no matter which way you came down on this challenge, hobby or business, I want to help to give you permission to follow that because that inspiration will go a long way. Now for the remainder of these videos, I am going to bring in some practical aspects of things. So if you're on the business side and you want to keep going with me, that's great because I am going to address some practicalities. But I wanted to start with this question because to me it seems pretty fundamental and it may go a long way towards explaining kind of where you are right now. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.